welcome to Keeping It Real with Liam and Cole. Um, for today's podcast, we're going to give you a rundown of what we're throwing tomorrow for the Riley Sketch tournament. And uh, yeah, what's our game plan? It's a good idea. Are you want to start it off? You want me to start it off? All right. Yeah, go for it. Um, Riley Sketch is so nice. Jab jabbed the rod in the wall. Riley's catch was so nice to give us all um, some free rods yesterday. So we're rocking with this brand new uh, Black Max from Riley Garcia. Throwing a little swim bait on there. And we got, I got my Bass Pro Shops combo. Have this for a while. With a crank, uh, jerk bait on there. Deep diving jerk bait. Oh, that's like a sand in there. Got a Abu Garcia American Hero with a tiny chatter bait. Are a little bit more marked in them. Um, and I got my Icon series. Shout out to Cashin for sponsoring HBU and the Shaky Head. Um, green and black flake uh, Senko. And then last but not least, I got my 13 fishing uh, 7 4 buzzbait rod with a Shimano SOX uh, DC. That's what I'm throwing tomorrow to start off. If anyone knows me, they know I change baits a lot, so I guarantee you by the end of the day, the end of the day tomorrow, these baits won't be the same. I'm rocking two spinning rods tomorrow. Surprising, because I never throw spinning rods. But to start off, I have my single swim bait with um, Shimano Reel and a G Loomis NRX Plus. Um, oh, there's a blooper rod on there. <laughs> Ugh. Anytime you put the mic away, I'm just going to put it by you because we both did it both times where we grabbed the rods and our mics are all the way out here. So I'm just going to go. In. Okay. Uh, second setup is my flipping rod for around deeper docks. I have a Bandito bug and on with 12 pound test. It's a G Loomis NRX Plus also with a Metanium DC. Best reel ever made. Second spinning rod combo is also a G Loomis NRX Plus with a, how do you say that? Essence? Accent? S- what, what are you reading? Oh. EX Sense. X, Accents. Shimano Reel. I never passed college, so yeah, I can't read. I haven't passed either. I'm also throwing a baby chatterbait on that. Fourth. We'll we'll hit it with some beeps. <laughs> Fourth combo is the Icon Series. Shout out Cashins for sponsoring us. Rod with it's a multi purpose with the Lose um, Mock Crush reel with the little square bill crankbait to throw in between docks when we're moving. Fifth and final. Setup that we're using tomorrow is also an icon, but it's the crankbait rod. Even though I have a jerkbait on there, Mega Bass jerkbait. Wait, with a Corrado DC. That might be broken now. Oh, that's not going to be good. So, to start off, a little rundown of the tournament. There's like 40 ish boats. Um, launch is at 7, boat's got to be there at 6.30, um, weigh-in for everyone is at 3, so, yeah, if you're a later boat, um, a little bit of time, hopefully not too much. We're 21, right? Yeah. Um, it's not close time. Our number. Um, yeah, so I think our game plan is to go fish, uh, a flat, um, in the morning, until the sun gets up. Enough to where some fish can hit some docks. Go fish our local docks, and we know we've got some trees on there, deeper docks. Um, and then if the wind picks up, go fish some windy points. And hopefully try to get a couple 18 inches. Yeah, back to the flats. Probably going to throw. I'm going to try. I'm going to tie on a bus bait and try to throw that over the flat. And then. 
So you, if you're gonna throw the buzz bait, I'll throw, throw a little chatter. Bait. I'll throw a little baby chatter bait around okay. on the flat, and then yeah, pounding the docks probably our best bet. Sneaky head and bait, jerk baits, whatever bites. That's what we've been catching them on. Yeah, docks. Last weekend we killed it with a couple. We had a couple twenty inches. Yeah, nice. we need five of those. Me too. Um, so, what happens when if we win? Actually, what happens when we win this? Money involved, and we qualify for something. What do we qualify for? It's the name of this tournament is the NC Bass State Qualifier. I don't know. If that's we need to figure what out. What? I think it does something for us a little bit. I don't think we were fishing it for fish, but um, I know there's a there's a good pot at the end. Um. So, I, I could use some money right now. Um, because I got my last one. I'm a broke college kid. Use any money I can get. Um, yeah. If they want to put small mouth and like moment, I'm all for it. So right That's now, it's fucking awesome. Beep. Beep. Oh, shit. Beep. <laughs> we're going to work on the beeps. Uh, yeah, we're rocking the Phoenix tomorrow. 21 foot. Um, if you didn't know, we are a partnership through High Point University's bass fishing team. Um, yeah, back to the windy points. Rocky windy points. Rocky and stumps, you said. Rocky and stump windy points. So if you're fishing Norman. Say you're fishing Norman for the first time. What are you gonna do if you just hop on the lake? But not all docks have fish, and depending on the time of year, not all docks have fish. Um, most of the time, the deeper docks have more fish. Um, in the spring, there is one week during the year that you can catch a fish on any dock. Spotted bass love to uh, mate against. Docks, so there's one on every dock. And that's the funnest time of your life. Um, yeah, the first thing you're going to notice is all the houses and docks, and it's not a bad strategy to start. Um, there's a good bit of points out there. You'll notice that a lot of these docks have structure underneath, and if you mark certain docks, you'll spot a pattern pretty quick. One thing I can say is the pattern on Lake Norman is non existent. There is no pattern on Lake Norman. You just gotta fish. Hopefully, you know what you're doing from previous experience because Lake Norman is not a beginner lake. It's mm-hmm. for catfish. That's, if, what I got. That's my advice for the first time fishing in Lake Norman. Yeah, starting out, what colors do you think we should rock? I know I'm rocking. Well, it depends what side of the lake you're on. South side of the lake, which we'll be fishing tomorrow because we're launching out of the farthest south entry ramp you can, I think, correct? Um, South side of the I'm, is clear water. North side no. is a little bit stained. So you want to ask my color types anything that mimics a Shed. natural bait pattern or any natural color. So I know uh, green and black flake isn't very natural, but for some reason that's the one odd bait, odd color bait that these fish are throwing. That's what I'm throwing for my bandito bug. What I got for my fish. But um single single swim bait white um baby chatter bait white they've been hitting that really good they've been hitting that chatter bait. i don't know if anyone can let me know where you can find these baby chatter baits a lot of them uh please let me know um because they don't come anywhere in the state of north Carolina. the um yeah if anybody's in lake gunnersville there's a shop that is my advice to you. go hit them up send us a box we'll pay you back We'll pay you back. Um, square bill, also just shad mimicking. I throw that in between docks when we're moving. Yeah, just if there's like a a stretch where two docks aren't super close, but you want to fish both of them, just pick up your square bill or your chatter bait and just cast in between. You'll get some just fish that are moving around. I catch a lot of fish like that. Maybe not the he- biggest fish, but you want to catch numbers and don't want to waste like 
any time. Just pick that up. Always just have it sitting next to you. And then, of course, flipping the poles. Um, Garmin Live Scope will tell you exactly which poles. We'll be using that tomorrow heavily. Tell you exactly what poles the fish are on. We'll be flipping those with. That's another topic I want to bring up for a longer video. Help you in like the... Do you have a Senko tied on? Is that... I have a five inch Senko that I can run the pole. So you'll be flipping that around docks. And then. <laughs> yeah, with the live scope. Yeah. That's another topic we can talk about. That thing, if you don't have a live scope yet, and you have a lot of money to dish out. Yeah, I definitely invest in that because it helps a lot. Um, but I have like pros and cons about it. As someone who doesn't have one on my personal boat, there's a lot of cons to it. But then on my partner's boat, from my fishing team, he does have it. He has a lot of, he has a lot of pros. You can literally watch your bait drop onto a fish's head and 98 percent of the time the fish will not eat it <laughs> unless you're fishing with a spoon i also have a spoon in the box tied on little baby little baby spoon man do you have anything else in the box that you have tied on that you might use tomorrow no i just got this five rod or five here and i got my spoon tied on i have two rods in the back of my truck but i don't feel like bringing them in it's just too much that yeah i don't need like, I'd throw a spinnerbait tomorrow, but it's not supposed to be cloudy. And if it is, mm -hmm. then I'll throw it on a different rod. That's why I like all these multi purpose rods, so they can just take change and go and get on these dead neighbor rods. You know what I'm saying? Oh, beep, beep. <laughs> I have a drop shot tied on too, but that's in the box. I have that on a uh, favorite rod. That should work on the deeper spots. I might, might bust that out. You'll see all this in the video too that we're making. We'll have a YouTube video going along with this stuff in the next week. I'll be rocking the GoPro chest mount. Hopefully the GoPro curse doesn't doesn't hit me tomorrow. Hopefully. I, I think I broke that curse. Hopefully it can't I think I... tomorrow with the tournament curse. <laughs> tournament the one, curse. The one PM curse. Oh yeah. That's funny. Uh tournament day. I Hayden will catch if he doesn't if he doesn't day. catch a limit, he's damn near it and then i won't catch fish till like after launch i'll eat my jimmy john's or jersey mike's tomorrow and then um, um Cole's usually the upgrader he uh yeah get the limit of fish and then Cole will usually 1 p.m when we're getting tired i'll be like hopefully we can break both of those curses tomorrow because i really don't want to go from 7 a.m to 1 p.m. and it's 40 degrees outside the high with the wind. I'm rocking the Sims. I don't have Sims, so I'm going with snow Rocking the Sims with the Drake jacket. The hook. You might see the jersey tomorrow. No, you're not. Maybe. I'm not putting it on anyway because there's another curse. It's the jersey curse. Sure. You're not wearing it under? I'll wear it under way in. I'm not wearing it during. I'm fishing. There's a jersey curse. It's staying in my truck. Oh, we'll break that tomorrow too. I guess we got a lot of curses to break. Hopefully, tomorrow, we can. Tomorrow's not the tournament to break. I'd rather break it down the lake that I know I can catch fish. We'll catch fish tomorrow. Yeah, but that are over twelve inches. Yeah, we'll get some. I like this guy's attitude. <laughs> we'll get some. Yeah. <laughs> I like this guy's attitude. Uh, it's freezing right now for some reason. It is cold. It's usually not this cold out. Tomorrow is gonna be. Really? Super today? fun. Today? Um, Super we fun out, time. I went out with another uh, team on an HBU's fishing team. Uh, shout out to Daniel Hackney for letting us use his boat. Um, we got to use it and do a little practicing. They got used to driving the boat, marked the spots, found a couple cool fish. Um, yeah, they are. Uh, they did pretty good. I think they have a they have a better chance than um the people in the Boston Whaler, but um yeah. I Is that Devin? Fine. Yeah, it's Devin and Maddie. Good luck, Devin and Maddie. Good luck, James and Danny. 
Dak and Jacob and Mike and Jonah. Oh, I forgot about them. Yeah, we got we got a couple teams like that. We're representing with the purple, the right purple though, not Western purple. Six out of forty-five of these teams are from HP. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's your standings tomorrow. Uh-huh. Actually, probably, probably two, three, not. four, five, six, seven. <laughs> we got the Red Hawks after us. Yeah, we do. We have <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend out of North Carolina. Hunter it's, he's not a myth. Dude. That, he's just a legend. Uh, the man, the myth, the legend. So, oh, my know. God. Man is a fishing god. Um, if you don't see him in the pros, they end up in the pros. Um, props to him. He has... Everything coming his way deserves a great fisherman. He does deserve um, everything. One time I want to beat him. I just want to beat him. If we, I've never beat him. If we ever place better than him, there had to be one, right? There had to be one. There had to be a. <laughs> there had to be one. And I think he beat us on the Norman Women's Fish together. Florida one he didn't fish, so that one doesn't count. I rock he beat us. I don't know if he was there on Tillery because he wasn't in the top four. You said us. So. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I didn't fish Tilly because I was trying to not a fire. It was, it was a good fish. Um, this is back my senior year of high school. I'm now a sophomore. Um, High Rocky beat us. State champ- or championship, he beat us. Maybe it'll switch in college. Maybe we'll just beat him every single time in college. I hope so. I mean, really, really <laughs> maybe. Maybe that'll happen. Maybe he won the high school battle, but he didn't win the war. Actually, the war, yeah, war is professional. Maybe we got the college battle done. Hitting the deer. Um, but yeah, shout out to Hunter Keller. He's going to be out there and the rest of the CBC team for Red Hawk. Most of the coach, we saw him driving off out of the meeting yesterday. Yeah, hopefully they do well. And we see them out there. And they go. Um, if anyone wants to race, let us know. We're always down for a fun race on the lake. This is going to be so cold tomorrow. I don't know about tomorrow. In the summer, maybe. <laughs> Who else are we fishing against tomorrow? We got, uh, I saw Charlotte, mm-hmm. UNC Charlotte, Western, Carolina. Yeah, those, I think it's all Carolina. Yeah, probably all South Carolina. Or North Carolina, my bad. Um, North Carolina, just from what I know. Is UNC Chapel Hill in it or no? Maybe. Maybe. I think um, Coastal might be there. Um, NC State has a good team. I don't know if UCU is there. NC State will probably be there. We'll see how many people show up because I know a lot of teams miss the meeting and they just show up. Might be more boats than we think. Um, High school had 100 today. Really? They had they were calling out boat numbers and they stopped at ninety eight or something like that. Huh. So Because when we fish in high school it went to like maybe maybe seventy. Maybe eighty on a big one. Yeah, like Florida was three hundred and That was a big boy. Um Tennessee was three hundred. I missed the Florida thing, but that was so much fun. Just that whole trip was like fly down. We realized yeah, we flew practice. down on first class and fished a tournament. Yeah, uh, got Cole got yelled at by some ponds or by some angry guy at a pond. Oh yeah, he was so annoying. Like, I'm just trying to fish. Just like, I get it though. Private ponds, a little bit iffy. Um, yeah, practice was fun. Got some burnt neck. Um, and then tournament day came, and that's when Cole's curse I think first hit him. That's when it hit hard. Yeah. I had, I lost my PB. Mm-hmm. Um, they probably would have won us the tournament. I know exactly where it is and what I did wrong. Um, actually, I did nothing wrong. I swam underneath the boat. And I it was a big stuff. fish. He was smart. Um, then right after that, I caught a six and a four. Had a couple twos in there. And then Cole caught his fish at 2 p.m. And pulled out the last two, in five or something like that. It was it was nine? It was pretty. pretty nice. Wasn't it, it like one. sixteen or something? Huh? How many pounds did we have? I think I was in fifteen five. Oh, maybe I'm, I don't remember. I think that was our biggest. It was a good amount. Um, also, 
in the top ten, it was it was us, and then oh, eight teams from Florida, and then tenth place was a team from Iowa. Yeah. So, so technically, out of state, Carolina. we won. Correct. So out of state, we won. But you know, the state of Florida is it's, it's their hometown. It's also my hometown, but I just didn't. That's why I was so happy to fish. I don't know how to fish it. Meanwhile, I did nothing that I was used to fishing. Just dragging through, dragging the, through, through the weeds. And now there's eelgrass like normal. The fish haven't found yet. Or, and it hasn't germed yet. It's not fully germed. Um, we are not fishing grass tomorrow. We tried it last weekend. We found some grass. Uh, we didn't find it, but like we were told about it. and We went and fished it. There ain't no fish there yet. Um, it will be. Once this grass grows more. That whole cove is going to turn into grass. Oh, very soon. Yeah. Very <laughs> like, soon. I guarantee you, we're going to drive past there, and there will be a boat on it at all times. Like, for sure. It's going to be multiple uh, boat fisheries. Because um, it's like, oh, there's grass in Lake Norman. Let's go fish it. There ain't, there ain't fish it. Yep. Should be an interesting time tomorrow, though. Hopefully, we can. That's not a bad idea. Transport, transport some largies over there from the north side. That is not a bad idea. I'm gonna have to make that video one day. Come on. Yeah, we can do that. Um, Thanksgiving break coming up for us. Um, I will be here. It'll be my birthday. Um, so I'll be spending some family time. Time with a girlfriend, um, doing some so, mountain fishing, um, <laughs> and uh, maybe Lake Norman fishing. We'll see how uh, if that turns out. Cole, on the other hand, will be filming a video, I believe. Two videos, movie two style, videos. down in. I'll uh, talk about that really quick. Yeah, I'll let him talk about that. Um, two movie style videos down in Ocean Reef, Florida, which is North Key Largo. One will be on. A Viking sail trying to catch some sailfish and then what? What the cough? Uh trying to catch some sailfish one day and then probably hit up a wreck another day to get a lot of fish in the boat and then go catch some Mahi for Thanksgiving because well what's Thanksgiving without Mahi, right? <laughs> and then I will also be probably kayak fishing most likely around just with my bass rods and reels i'm bringing a few down and trying to catch them just yeah. flipping the um yeah yeah some snook be so fun oh yeah with the gopro <sighs> yeah some good content coming soon in the next week. We'll be filming this video tournament tomorrow. Alarm set. What's your alarm set for tomorrow? Um, Dad said leave here at uh, it could be there at six thirty, and it's twenty four minutes from here. Okay. So we'll leave here at six. So I'm probably getting up at five. Five a.m. tomorrow. We'll start filming. Um, we will not be at the same house unless you want to be. I have to grab my stuff. I don't care. Um. I'm sleeping. I haven't slept in my own bed in forever. My own bed, but like since then, because I'm a freshman, I'm not like sleep in your own bed when you come back from college. It's a great feeling. It is. It's top three greatest feelings. Number number one. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. Oh. Pro XS. That yeah. now. No, <laughs> sticking an arrow in one of these buttes. That's number one. What's, I think that's number one. Top five, then? Number two is top water bite. Number three is waking up in your own bed from being home from college. Mm -hmm. But sticking an arrow in one of these. I haven't not been able to do that. My number one is in your own bed when you've been away for a while. Number two, it's got to be the boat startup. Number three, it's got to be a top water blow up. 
four has got to be drag healing. Hmm? Drag. Fish, like your drag from on a fishing rod. Oh. Fish oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drag healing four and five's got to be. You're not on the water. Kissing your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, probably. probably gonna be, gonna be well, hopefully we get it. Hopefully we get a new feeling, which is holding up a trophy. That would be we have not yet to do that. We've been very close. I held out a belt. That's what I was saying. Was Every belt. single tournament, we've been a fish away, basically. Maybe, maybe two fish, but hopefully tomorrow we can get it done. Film a cool video. Break the GoPro curse. Break the time curse. We got the food. We got the bait. We got the spots. We got everything. This is my first college tournament as well. Mine too. Um, we just oh, yeah. <laughs> it is your first college tournament. It's our first college tournament. That is. Yeah, let's see if we can get I've it done. Been on this team for years. But I've, been, I've made this team so much better. Just saying. As cocky as that sounds, I've made this team so much better. I've recruited him. That is true. I. What else? I got some new rod sponsor. I kicked off. Okay. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> okay, well. Cut that off. <laughs> not really. Hopefully, we can get it done tomorrow. Film a cool video in the process. Um. Yeah, we'll let you know. You can bleep the whole line out if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, he didn't goes on a little rampage at the end. Well, yeah, well. And thank you for listening to this episode of Keeping It Real's podcast presented by Hayden, Mare, and Cole Mitchell. See you later.